What's going on, dudes? It's your boy, Andy Matrix. We are here at the Daily Mail. And um, Gen Z and Millennials Unite. Gen Z and Millennials Unite, baby. Because it looks like um, young investors, yeah, well, at least young people with money, or at least people that invest, right? Millennials and Gen Zers that invest into the stock market, so-and-so, you, you, you name it. They are ditching ESG. I repeat, they are ditching ESG, right? Now, before we get started, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification button for future notifications. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, Japanese culture. If you're into any of that stuff, make sure to subscribe. Now, -uh, with the show. So it says, Millennials and Gen Z ditch woke capitalism. Support plumbers for social, socially conscious ESG funds as TikTokers bash can diversity targets and greenwashing. Right? So it says, double-digit drop-off in support for ESG funds among younger investors. They're allocating capital more like baby boomers, research says. Right, it says millennials and Gen Zers are famous for urging businesses to lead the way on making so society fairer, workplaces more diverse, and cutting emissions of planet heating gases. So yeah, you know, you know the whole story, the the ES, you know, the environment, climate change, diversity, all that stuff, right? You guys know the story. So um, I'm gonna read this over here. It says young investors step back and see so. This is the article. This is the part of the article that I wanted to show you guys. It says it comes as social social media influencer discusses ESG on TikToker and questions whether it makes a good return or amounts to little more than greenwashing. Because look, um, I, I understand that we gotta be, you know, environmentally mindful, like not pollute the environment or try not to. But when you're an investor, you're trying to make money. So when you are investing into a company like, let's say, Disney, a company that is supposed to entertain you, what is Disney doing about, what is Disney doing? What, what do they care about, you know, the environment and stuff? That is not their, you know, I hate, like, I hate to say, it sounds kind of cold, but that is not their business. Their business, their job, what they're supposed to be doing as a company is to produce good stories that entertain you and keep you entertained and fill you with joy, right? Something that you want to cosplay, you know, maybe toys you want to buy, you know, video games you want to play, things like that. It's an entertainment company, right? And I'm not saying, oh, well, they should just absolutely forget about, uh, you know, polluting the environment or saving the environment. But, like, I mean, they can, they can donate to foundations that uh, help, help the environment, but... In general, if you're a for-profit company, you should not be getting involved into this nonsense. Right, it says pro Professor David Lacker, Stanford Graduate School Business, who led a research set support ESG value among younger investors, fell by double-digit percentages between 2022-2023 in one year. Wow. Previously, young investors said they were very concerned about environmental and social issues and wanted their fund matters to managers to push for change and even if it meant a loss in personal wealth yeah yeah that, that sounds very smart you you really want you really want to play with your money like that you know it says that that sentiment has changed dramatically he added it says in survey preference esg investing among millennials and gen z gen zers who are age 18 to 40 well, holy crap 18 to 41 it fell sharply it says the share of those who said they were very concerned about environmental issues dropped from 70% on 2022 to 49%. So that's a good 20%. That's huge for but ages 18 to 41. I, I thought I thought they were going to say like 18 to like 30. But people in their 40s too. Wow. That's that's pretty crazy. So the share of those who were worried about social media fell from 65% to 53%. Because, you know, if you're investing into something, you want it to give you, you want it, you want to get your money back. You want to get some money back, man. You want to make a profit. And it's like the company's supposed to be growing. But the ESG stuff is just, you know, 
going in reverse. It's literally going in reverse. So millennials and Gen Zers, we do have something in common. But hey, whatever your thoughts are, make sure to comment below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your boy in Matrix. Peace out, dudes.